Roblox, a well-known gaming platform, is criticised for condo games, exposing young players to nude characters, simulated sex and coarse language. According to Roblox's owners, more than half of American children under 16 use the platform, which lets users build their own games. Kids can create themselves as virtual avatars on Roblox, which is frequently played on a smartphone, tablet or laptop and then explore various landscapes, pretend to be superheroes, take care of pets and even build their own games. This video will closely look at what Roblox is, possible risks you should know about and how you can keep your child secure from the dangerous professionals who want all parents to know. Make sure to stick to the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Let's dive right in. Roblox is a free online gaming platform that lets users play games devised by other gamers and design their own games. This exciting platform has experienced a quick boost in popularity, with an average of 55.1 million daily enthusiastic users as of February 2022, up 28% year over year. According to Roblox's website, this game allows its users to create their ultimate theme park, compete as a pro racing car driver, appear in a fashion show, transform into a superhero, or simply design their ideal house and hang out with pals. The platform has its own currency called Robux, which can be used to buy extra features like avatar upgrades even though users can access an infinite number of games for free. According to Common Sense Media, children will probably want to join the Builders Club, which offers extra features in exchange for a membership fee. Although there is no set minimum age for children to play Roblox, Common Sense Media grades the service as safe for those aged 13 and up, in light of the ongoing difficulties with harmful content. But Roblox is also safe for children younger than 13 years if account restrictions are turned on, and parents or older siblings pay close attention to the children's activities on the platform. Age restrictions are also placed on features by Roblox, like voice chat. According to Knox, to use the voice chat function on Roblox, users must produce evidence that they are older than 13 years old. However, players have complained that some younger children have been able to get around the requirement, explains Knox. Similarly, Roblox allows parents of children under 13 to put a spending limit on their child's account and choose to be notified whenever their child makes a purchase. Any multiplayer platform has the potential to create awkward encounters. The possibility that children could communicate with predators in the chat feature is one of the safety issues with Roblox. Although Roblox, like many other gaming platforms, offers self-policing features like moderators and regulations, Jordan notes that there are always ways for people with bad intentions to gain access to the forum and your child's chat room. She cited a 2019 incident in the UK when a mother discovered her son was being groomed by a predator on the site, resulting in sexually explicit photographs on a third-party messaging app unrelated to Roblox. Additionally, Parents Together has heard from several members of the really upsetting interactions the kids have had on Roblox, including one Massachusetts seven-year-old who was contacted by someone wanting her to send photographs because they wanted to be her friend. Remember that everything a user experiences on Roblox was created by other users, says Jordan. One of the primary risks parents should understand about Roblox is user-generated games, or condo games, that feature adult content such as simulated sex acts, graphic images and indecent language. Jeff Haynes, a senior editor with Common Sense Media, explains the intensity of the problem. Most of this is attributed to condo games, but part of the difficulty is that many of these experiences don't even appear like the stereotypical condo games from a few years ago. They look like safer games that can draw in users, only to discover inappropriate content lurking inside. According to studies, kids crave difficulty and accomplishment. They enjoy learning new abilities and refining their current ones. Evolutionary psychology has a story about individuals venturing into the unknown facing and conquering a problem, and then coming home with a prize. This area of our psychology is referred to as the triumph circuit. The psychological pattern that makes overcoming difficulties feel gratifying is not an actual circuit. Kids may play and make games on Roblox that other people can play. As you need to have a fundamental understanding of simple programming language to build games on Roblox, this encourages many gamers to try out programming. The game also features leaderboards that lets kids compete for the top spot in some of the most well-liked mini-games. Roblox is a free game that is an excellent initiative for youngsters. Since they can download and play this game without parental supervision, the entry barrier is minimal. 
No purchases are necessary for players. One can, however, purchase goods to alter their character's appearance. These purchases merely improve the character's appearance without enhancing their effectiveness in the game. Roblox has a lot of originality to offer. Players have access to a wide variety of games. As a result, there is always something new to play and the game continually gets exciting. In actuality, Roblox serves more as a gaming platform than a game. Players can engage in mini-games to get dopamine rushes and express themselves aesthetically. Children become game addicts because video games stifle unpleasant emotions. A child can start playing video games to numb their negative feelings if they are unhappy, terrified, anxious or upset. The inability to recognise your inner emotional state is a syndrome called alexithemia, which develops over time. Playing video games is so fun that everything else seems boring. For instance, a child who spends a lot of time playing video games is unlikely to develop the attention span necessary to appreciate reading a book. Roblox has been created for children and boasts 90 million users worldwide. However, there are concerns that it may be used to groom youngsters. According to BBC News, one mother describes how a small kid experienced this. They were talking about rape. They were talking about sexual activities that were pornographic. Sarah, not her real name, says, remembering some of the explicit messages sent to her child. He had been playing the game Roblox, which lets players design their own games and utilise coloured blocks to make avatars. It initially appeared to Sarah to be an innocent game. Her son, who was still young, could not send texts since he had activated parental controls. But as time passed, she became aware of a shift in his attitude. He would no longer be interested in participating in family activities that he typically loved. She checked the game out of concern and found that he had been talking to others on a third party app. She then realised her son had been blackmailed into sharing pictures of himself in a lewd state. We came across some pictures. She described the situation to the BBC's Victoria Derbyshire programme. It was horrifying. I was physically sick. Roblox informed the programme that while it could not comment on specific situations, it was devoted to ensuring children's online safety. It expressed that its in-game chat had stringent filters, and any photo exchange would have been done on a third-party app that is not affiliated or integrated with Roblox. It added, It's essential to be aware of these chat apps, particularly with an overlay feature, making it appear to be part of whatever game is being played. Former police officer John Woodley knows that other parents have gone through similar circumstances. Along with his colleague John Staines, he travels to schools nationwide to educate kids about the worst case situations associated with online gaming. He claims that parents are unaware that people still manage to interact with kids despite parental safeguards. On third party apps, he says, they can get them to send pictures and hold verbal conversations with them. Amanda Naylor, who oversees Bernardo's work on child sexual abuse, urges that more has to be done by the sector to protect kids. Children frequently do not realise the abuse they are experiencing. Therefore, she advises against reporting it in the first place. However, she acknowledges that Roblox can act seriously and honestly if the problems are reported to them. A few months earlier, it was discussed that the internet sites that failed to address online evils, such as terrorist propaganda and child abuse, might be penalised or prohibited under government plans. Additionally, Miss Naylor feels that parents should be skilled up on how to safeguard their kids online without being criticised. She continues, It is also crucial that children are provided enough support once instances of grooming do occur, as it might have an impact on their future relationships. According to Sarah, she contacted Roblox in her situation to inquire about how they had permitted the grooming of her children. Unfortunately, they were utterly silent. Roblox refused when she reported the incident to the police, which demanded access to the IP addresses of the alleged groomers. They wouldn't let our police have anything to do with it because we were in the UK and they are an American company, Sarah says. Although Sarah's incident is an extreme example, numerous problems with Roblox's gameplay have been brought to light. A mother from the US posted on Facebook last year about how horrified she was to watch her child's avatar being gang raped by other players in the online game. She shared screenshots of two male avatars attacking the female persona that belonged to her kid. According to Roblox, the player who had committed the deed had been banned. Lane, a father, admits to having similar worries after taking control of his son's character to learn more about the Victoria Derbyshire program. 
He claims one player instructed his character to lie down before lying on top of him and acting in a disgusting, sexualized way. The other individual vowed to commit suicide if he left and he stood up. Ian claims he emailed Roblox but never heard back. Roblox said that it has moderators on duty around the clock and was ruthless in taking down offensive content. You can take steps to make Roblox safer for your child if they play it. One of these is activating parental controls, restricting strangers from chatting with your child and filters that forbid exchanging vulgar language or phone numbers. Additionally, each game includes a report button that kids can utilize. The platform recently increased the age restriction for several rounds to over 9 or over 13. Although safety precautions are in place, children might still be exposed to harmful material because new games are continuously being developed and Roblox finds it challenging to keep everything safe. Counseling service Childline urges the government to safeguard children by enforcing strict website rules. This means individuals can't put harmful content on websites for children. After sex parties were found on the online platform, parents were advised to check the controls on their children's gadgets. Parents should also establish a general rule requiring that all electronic devices be charged outside the children's bedrooms. Although Roblox is an exciting game, it has risks, just like any other form of technology. It's best to have early discussions with your children about how to stay safe online. Establish a rule requiring children to play Roblox in a shared family area where you can monitor their play, apply parental restrictions and routinely check in with your children to help assure their safety. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching.